In our previous video, we covered market buy and sell orders. In this video, we'll cover how to place limit orders. A limit order is an order to buy or sell a given asset at a specified or better price. Limit orders give you control over the price, but the execution is not guaranteed. A limit order to buy will only execute at the limit price or lower. A limit order to sell will only execute at the limit price or higher. With limit orders, you also typically pay lower fees than on market orders. This will be explained in more detail in a future video. The following example trades are shown for educational purposes only and don't reflect any specific trading strategy. To place a limit order, access the trade screen for the particular asset. Then click Limit. Select whether you'd like to buy or sell the asset. Let's start with a limit buy. Enter the value of the trade priced in either the underlying asset or US dollars. In this case, 1 ETH. Now, enter the maximum amount you'd like to pay. In this case, I'm going to pick a price that's very close to the current asset price so that we're likely to see a quick execution. DYDX also allows you to specify three advanced options. The Good Till Cancel option places your order in the order book as soon as you submit it, but the order automatically expires after the specified amount of time. You can set this time in anything from minutes to weeks. By selecting Fill or Kill, the order will only complete if the entire amount can be matched. Partial matches would not execute. If you choose Immediate or Cancel, the order will attempt to fill immediately, and any part that isn't filled will be canceled. The Post Only option ensures that your order is only executed as a limit order. The order is either placed in the order book or it expires if it matches an existing order. This would guarantee that you don't pay the taker fee. Now let's place our limit by order. Once the order has been placed, it will appear under the Orders tab. Now that we see our limit buy order has been executed, and we're showing an active long position, let's enter a limit order to sell. This order will only execute if there's an order that can be matched in the order book that is at or above my limit sell price. Again, I'm choosing a price that is very close to the current market price so that we're likely to get a quick execution. Until a limit order is executed, you can always cancel that order from the Orders tab. If the order does execute, you'll get a pop-up alert and no longer see an open position. Recently filled orders will appear under the Fills tab. In this video, we covered how to place both buy and sell limit orders. We also showed three advanced options that you can specify when placing your limit order. In our next video, we'll demonstrate how to place stop limit orders. This can be a very important strategy for limiting your downside risk.